Hey everybody, it's Jameson and I am, don't worry, I'm not driving. I'm parked, engine's off. I'm outside one of my favorite home improvement stores and I'm about to go in and buy a storage barn and I will tell you why that's relevant for glass in a moment. Okay, so I have finally decided that now is the time to redesign, remodel, reimagine the space that I've been using in my garage as my glass workshop, my studio, so to speak. Uh, it's time for a remodel and I am pulling everything out and I'm gonna get much more efficient with my space and I'm gonna design it for me and for my, my craft and what I'm doing as opposed to something that I've accidentally worked my way into over the last three years. I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but after I go inside and make my purchase and go home, I will film a before video and take you on a walkthrough of my space so that you can see what I've been dealing with. And I, I say, I can't believe I'm gonna do this because frankly, I'm pretty embarrassed <laughs> by my glass studio space. So I'm gonna show you the really, really, the really ugly here in terms of what I'm working with before. And then I've decided to film several videos to kind of take you on a journey to show you how I'm renovating my space and what ideas might actually help work for you. So I'm gonna go in and make this purchase. I'll be right back with you and I will take you through my embarrassing walkthrough. Okay, let's do this thing. I can't believe I'm showing you my space. Um, okay, so this garage renovation starts with, let me turn around, the brand new garage door that I had installed. This is a uh, insulated garage door and um, this will help, you know, keep the heat down in the summer and keep it a little warmer in here in the winter. And uh, so that was the important first step and that is now done. You can see we've got both vehicles here in the garage, which is kind of a rare event uh, in Texas. <laughs> Texas doesn't have basements. A lot of people use a garage for storage. Um, we are fortunate that our garage has 10 foot ceilings. So there's my storage. I love these overhead uh, uh, storage units. Uh, you see my little, whoops. That's my little wind. Uh, little wind machine that my grandpa made out of a two liter bottle when he was alive probably 30 years ago and uh, he he put a little fish spinner uh, thing on there and cut those flaps painted it and um, I just could never get rid of it so uh, it doesn't attract any wind in here but uh, anyway this is our storage solution for some things and I'm I have bought two more of those that we're going to install in the garage uh, in a different spot, which is gonna give me some additional storage and get some of this stuff out of my way. We are lucky that we have a three car garage. So not only do you see our vehicles uh, here, but then I've got a third bay. Um, it is a two car garage door, but I've got this third piece back here that extends to the back of my uh, garage. So my glass workshop is here in this third space. So I'm going to try to zoom out and show you, take you on a little walk of this ridiculous uh, situation I got here. So I haven't fired glass in a while. I've got stuff stacked up around the kiln, but uh, or we have a you know refrigerator in the garage, as most people do. Uh, we're going to move that and get that out of the way. I've already bought on uh, Facebook Marketplace uh, two of these shelving units from Ikea. I will show you those at a future date to show you what I'm doing with those, but that's going to be great uh, scrap glass storage for me. And uh, to take you a little walk, like behind the kiln here, I've got some, you know, just random, <laughs> there's a little parrot that's kind of a family joke of ours. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you all this stuff. Uh, just, you know, I, I'm doing all my own packing and shipping, so I've got cardboard boxes and such stacked up here in the shelving unit. This is one of those that you can buy and assemble yourself, so I, you know, spaced things accordingly the way I wanted them. I've got my big uh, roll of papyrus here that I can cut off of. I've got some glass storage over here, but then I've got all kinds of other storage that goes to the house and just things that are not glass related at all uh, on a shelf where I've got glass over here. Um, the glass is a real problem for me because I've got glass here. I've got some half sheets down here in the bottom of this baker's rack thing where I've got, uh, you know, some molds and stuff. And then I've got some half sheets and a shelf. And then I've got full sheets stacked on the concrete floor 
in between two of these things, I mean, this is just begging for something to shatter and be broken. And then I've got scrap glass in this container over here. And then I've got frit over here and frit over here and frit over here. I mean, talk about not being a productive space at all. But anyway, let me back up and, and get back out here. I have two of these baker's racks. I love these things for storage of molds because look, you can get lots of molds in here in what's ultimately a very small footprint. And so uh, it's got these full sheet trays and you can just pull them out. Uh, I'm afraid to do this pull them out, get out what you need. And so it's great storage. Some people use these to store glass projects that are, you know, kind of works in, in progress, process, progress. Uh, and so um, I'm actually going to get a third one of these as part of my uh, redo here. I got stuff stacked to the ceiling up on top, lots of boxes and things for, um, you know, for fulfilling glass orders that I get uh, for finished goods. My decals are not out here. Those are in the house and um, finished glass pieces that I make are also in the house. They're not out here in the garage. Okay, this is the most ridiculous setup. Um, I've got a big box fan, which is in the middle of my space. I've got barely can pass through here. Um, these are some old shelves and or cabinet shelves. And I've stood those on some blocks and an old Ikea desk top. And then I've got more shelves stacked all the way up to the ceiling almost. I've got a fan that's mounted to a shelf of all weird things. And then um, this is a, you know, my glass cutting table, um, the best that I can do here. Uh, then I've got this corner unit, which has a whole bunch of lawn and garden stuff on it. Uh, so this will be gone and all of this will be out of here. I've got uh, storage related to all of my um, pieces that I take, my, my uh, equipment that I take if I'm gonna do a glass show, that's all up above. I don't have to access that very much, so that's up high. I've got what's essentially kind of a workbench over here. It's got some other garden supplies underneath it. It's got some glass related stuff, some not glass related stuff. It's all just kind of a hodgepodge. I have this Rubbermaid rolling cart, which I have my two grinders on. And I actually like this. It's got good storage inside and it's on wheels and it rolls around. And since I've got such a tiny little footprint here, I mean, I really don't have much room to work. To work. Um, I like being able to move these things in and out of my way as I need to. Got a little stool. Then I've got another little, just kind of flat top uh, bench area for setting stuff and clearly clutter. And then uh, I talked about baker's racks and some people use them for um, glass projects. That's what I've got right here. Now these are just little half half pan sheets and um, and they're within this cabinet. I don't think I'm keeping this in my redesign, but I have some ideas for um, how to get a different storage solution. I have this cabinet. So the, the problem with my garage, can you see up there? There's this angled wall. So this um, third bay of the garage is not a true uh, rectangle, if you will. I've got this angled wall, which does make things a little difficult got this old rickety cabinet. This is also something that my grandpa made, but it's got rakes and, you know, ant poison and all kinds of stuff inside it. I did hang a pegboard to put a little glass tools on here. And then I use for a frit storage solution, some Rubbermaid, I think it was Rubbermaid brand, uh, pantry organizer. And I use that. Uh, but as you can see, I'm overflowing in frit. It's coming off the shelf here. They're, you know, falling over. Uh, so I have what I think is a really awesome frit solution that I've come up with in my head, and I can't wait to show that to you in a future video. And then finally over here, I do have another Husky workbench. This is great for storage. Uh, it does have, you know, some workbench top to it. And then I've got, <laughs> I mean, this looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Just random shelves and pieces of wood and whatever I could find to put on some brackets to kind of make a shelving system. I mean, come on. Again, I can't believe I'm showing this to you. I'm just so embarrassed. Uh, there's just clutter everywhere. It needs to be all cleaned out. All of this needs to be taken off the walls. I need to use the space much, much better. And then finally, I do have one more um, storage uh, s uh, shelf here. But again, it's got paint supplies and other kind of random stuff underneath. Then there's some glass uh, area for some glass storage and other things. 
silk mat and some of that kind of stuff. So that is a very quick, very quick view of my space. I'm probably making you dizzy here and all this moving around, but I can literally turn around and that's about it. It's just not efficient. And I can't wait to show you what I'm doing with this and all the ideas that I have. So stay tuned for future videos. This project's gonna take me a couple of weeks and it'll end up creating a couple of videos. So tune in, subscribe to the channel, watch as we go. I'll share some ideas, I'll share some links, I'll tell you where I got some stuff. I can't do all this alone, so I've got some help. Uh, I've got a handyman that I've hired to do some stuff for me. Oh, one of the super exciting things is that I'm putting in a mini split AC system, a uh, heat pump in AC, so I can keep this garage warmer in the winter if I need it, but certainly can cool it off in the winter, excuse me, in the summer. Did I say all that right? Warmer in the winter and cool it off in the summer. Um, Cause you always hear me talking about, you know, complaining about the fan. I mean, hello, this fan's probably older than I am. You know, fans make noise. Uh, I'm looking forward to having an AC system that'll keep it much more um, reasonable in here. I didn't even show you this. I got yet another shelf, again, with, you know, car wash and stuff underneath it, some drinks, and then a couple of shelves of random glass uh, frames and stuff that are kind of falling over. <sighs> this will not be a showroom when I'm done. So I do not care about the aesthetics. What I care about is the function of the space. And so um, I'm not promising any kind of showroom looking glass studio when this is done. Uh, everything's gonna be still kind of, you know, utilitarian, but I can't wait to show you some of the ideas that I have for how I'm repurposing this space. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop me any comments. Uh, go ahead, humiliate me, <laughs> let me have it. Uh, and then follow along over the next couple of weeks. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.